Let us solve this assignment. First, we need a parameter, a point, a series, rotate, the area, and a skelet. Let us drag and drop a curve parameter. Right click and select a rectangle or a square that you already have in Rhino. Under Transform, drag and drop Rotate Geometry around a construction plane. This is the geometry and the construction plane by default is set to X and Y. So that's like the origin or the, the Cartesian plane. Now that we have that, let us create a list of angles. Drag and drop a series. And before we change anything, let us change to degrees. We want the angles to be degrees. We want to start at 45, the default will be 60 up to 90. Hit enter and let us connect the 60 to the step of the series. How many? How many? I need six squares. So let us, let us analyze the output of the series. Let me change the font and there you see the list of angles 0, 60, 120, etc. If we connect, we have already 50% of the assignment. Now, let me pan just a little bit my definition to the left and let's look for M2, the area. This is not only going to give us the area, but the centroid in each one of those squares. And we need the centroid in order to what? A scale 2D. So we can go to transform and find a scale. So we want to a scale. The geometry from where? From the centroid and how much? Remember, one doesn't change the shape. So let us create a list of values that would start at 1.0, maybe, maybe up to 1.5. So we want to start at one. The step, this is how much you want to scale it. Let's say 0.05 to 0 0.25. And how many numbers do we need? As, as many rectangle or squares we created. In this case, six. We connect this one to the scale. Let us change, let us change the numeric sliders. And there we were able to solve the assignment. Very interesting.